What do we got first? X intercepts? You know what? These are all like over five over four, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do this all in pi over fours. Pi over four, all the way through. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pi over four and five pi over four. Y intercept at negative one. Critical points three pi over four. And 7 pi over 4. How do I find out where they go? Into the original one, right? F of 3 pi over 4. Sine x, sine of 3 pi over 4, which is the 2 over 2, minus the cosine of. 3 pi over 4, which is the opposite of the square root of 2 over 2, which gives me, if I bring those together, how many square roots of 2 over 2? 2 square roots of 2 over 2, which is the square root of 2, which is about what? Point four. About one and a half, which I'm going to put right there, which is a, it's a maximum from our chart. So I'll just label that as a max. Then I got to do seven pi over four. Really going to be the same numbers, right? Except the sine of seven pi over four is going to be. And the cosine of 7 pi over 4 is going to be positive. The opposite of the square root of 2 over 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2 is new. Remember, add the opposite. So now I've got two negatives. And so I got, when it's all said and done, the opposite of the square root of 2. Now I'm down here. That's a minimum. Whew, still not done. I need inflection points. Hey, good news is that's one of them. And that's one of them. So, IP max, IP max. Min. Min. I said max, didn't I? You guys are listening. You only hear the bad stuff. Amazing. <laughs> Bio report is the first one I get to. Concave up and increasing. Up and increasing looks like. From pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. I'm still increasing, but I'm concave down. So from here to there, like that. From 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. From here to here, decreasing now in concave down. I'm getting all that stuff from the chart right here. Then from 5 pi over 4 to 7 pi over 4. Decreasing in concave up. Like that. And then for the rest of the way, I'm increasing in concave up. We didn't go far enough, but where do you think? Would I cross the x axis again? 
add another pi over 4 here. That's probably where it's at. We'll keep on going. And then since it's a trig function, it's probably cyclical, right? Keep going back and forth. So your range. Oh, she caught it. What's our range? This isn't going to go all the way up, is it? But in our range, just worry about from 0 to 2 pi. How high did I go? How low did I go? Okay. So my y values? They're between? I put the equals on this one because it actually was what we wanted, not the not part of it like yesterday. 